Well, well, well. Ibis Paint has done it again, releasing an amazing update. So let's get into it. So I'm going about my business as usual last night. I open Ibis Paint. I see a little notification. I ignore it because I've got stuff to do. I go to create a new canvas, work on some concept art, and I'm greeted with add folder. I'm like, that wasn't there before. That's new. I return to the notification and I see that version 12.2.0 has come out and uh, they've made some changes. If you want, you can pause and look at this as I'm scrolling through it. They fixed a lot of bugs as well, which they're always doing, and added a bunch of little quality of life updates. A lot of bugs looks like they fixed, like I'm still scrolling. But yeah, feel free to pause that if you want. But now for the update, I know I've kept you waiting long enough. You can add folders in your gallery now, okay? Folders. And you're probably like, eh, why should I care? Let me tell you something. I've been using Ibis Paint for years. I learned how to do digital art using this. I've been using it for a long time. And henceforth, I have a lot of canvases, a lot of illustrations open. And sometimes it's a pain to sift through them, especially because I work on a lot of comics. You guys can read them. I'm flashing them on the screen. But more importantly, I have to scroll back to look at some of the chapters and to work on them because I jump around. I'll work on chapter two, chapter three, chapter seven, chapter back to one. Uh, but it's a little difficult when I have to keep scrolling through a bunch of illustrations, random sketches and animations like, okay, where is it? Oh, nope, did I pass it? Oh no, there it is. Nope, wait, that was a different one. Ah, there it is. Like, not a big deal, but to me, it's a big deal. So now you can create folders and organize your projects so easily. And this is the feature I needed as I'm starting several new comic projects and just being able to organize them and keep them all together is just gonna be such a time saver, such a lifesaver. It's like whenever I need a feature, it's like Ibis Paint added it. They added animation a while ago, game changer. I'll talk about that in another video. Although that's kind of old news now. That was like almost, I feel like almost a year ago, but I don't know, but it was a while ago. Okay, but enough of that. To add a folder, you go up, press the plus sign like you would add a canvas, press folder, and boom, one appears. Now, you go into these folders, and it's basically like you're in your gallery. You can navigate it the same. It just opens another window, which is great. Now, you think, how do I add stuff to this folder? You can add canvases like normal, and they will be in the folder you added them in. Or... Let's say you already have a bunch of <laughs> illustrations, as we all do. All you do is select, press the select button up here, select whatever you want to add, boop, 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 weird sound. And you just press this little folder icon right here, and it'll open up whatever folders you have. And you select one, and you can press move, and it'll move that uh, canvas, the illustration, the animation, whatever, into that folder. You can also add a folder from this window. And let's say, ooh, I put something in the wrong folder. Ooh, I don't want it there anymore. All you have to do is enter the folder, select something, press the folder icon again, and move it. You can move it back to your gallery. You can move it wherever you want. And it looks like you can open subfolders in other folders. And yes, yes, you can. This is, guys, honestly, this is amazing. So. In medieval madness extermination now there is a subfolder <laughs> this is just amazing so let's say you're working on a comic you can put all your comic stuff for one series in a folder then create a subfolder for each chapter or episode or however you want to do it making an animation project or an animated film like me organize everything into one folder create subfolders for different cuts or scenes like the possibilities are endless and for me i love organizing stuff i have so many folders and albums all over my devices so this is a huge deal for me okay now that i've finished my little uh diatribe about that we can get into the other feature which might affect some of you more than the folders if you didn't really care about organization which i mean how could you guys come on organize organize but now you open a canvas and you can see something's a little different here when you press your layers 
there's a little bar up here there's this little button up here i'm like what is that so i pull it and look at that you can create a little floating folder window not folder my goodness layer window your layer window can float around your canvas while you work so now you don't have to press a button go into your layers although you still can and it'll just reappear now it works similar to this reference window over here which has been in ibis paint for a while also great you can add the reference window by just going up here pressing that button but now you can change the size of it you can move it around you can close it and reopen it either by pulling this little bar here or pressing this button and I have to say, this could really save you time. I can see this saving you time for animation uh, because Ibis Paint still is yet to add where you can affect multiple layers at once in your animation. Like if I wanna change the opacity of a certain layer in my animation, I have to go through to every single frame, open the layer window and just change it one by one. But being able to have your layer properties floating around here with every capability of it. It's all here, nothing's missing. It's a little small, which takes some getting used to, and now it's something else on your screen, but it is very beneficial depending on your workflow. Now, yesterday when I opened Ibs Paint, I wanted to do some concept art for some one shots I was doing, and I decided that'd be the perfect opportunity to test this new floating layer window on a full scale illustration and see how I like it, see how it works. And I have to say, I kind of like it. It takes some getting used to, I'll have to say that, because, you know, when you have something else on your screen, all these different things, it's it's kind of like, ooh, a little bit of sensory overload, especially I'm used to how it's always been. But I have to say, it really is a good addition. I'm easily navigating through layers while I'm illustrating. I'm making folders, I'm organizing layers, and there's a lot of layers here, uh, more than necessary, but I wanted to really push this new uh, floating layer window as far as I could and see how I like using it. I really have to say I can see the benefit in it. It all depends on your workflow, but the best thing is you can press the little X and get rid of it if you want to. So it's literally just more options for your pleasure, honestly. And I thank Ibis Paint for that. Ibis Paint is always coming out with updates and adding features. And as someone who's been using this app for so long and who loves it, because I hate using computer drawing programs. It's just not for me. I'm a touchscreen type of guy. I like my iPad. I like using it. So this app is just perfect for me. It's very powerful and the interface might be complex when you first start, but it's super easy to navigate for me, especially compared to a lot of other uh, art programs that are out there. And now it has animation capabilities, which is just game changer. I'll make a video uh, very soon, seeing how this new floating layer window will affect uh, animation in this app, if it'll make it faster, smoother, and definitely subscribe for that. And I'll keep covering all the updates Ibis Paint makes. I also have a video cooking up, it's on the editing floor right now, of things I wish Ibis Paint had. If it's not out right now and floating on your screen, it's coming out very soon. Just give me some time, guys, I'm very busy. Uh, but until then, watch these videos. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know. Are you excited about this update? Does it mean nothing to you? Will you be using these new features and updating uh, your workflow. Also, little thing I forgot to mention is the folder thing is a prime membership feature. Uh, I went this whole video and didn't mention it. It's because I have been a prime member of Ibis Paint for like two, almost three years. I've just been paying for it. It's $2.99 a month. And if you pay for the year, it's like $24 for the year or something like that, which isn't that much. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'll probably cut this out and put it closer uh, to the beginning of the video but yeah just keep that in mind it's a premium feature but that's just for organization it's okay if you don't want to pay for it that's fine i think you should if you like the app and you want to use it on a more professional 
sense if you're going to use it for your projects or whatever um you know just try it out it could help you out but uh there you go that's the end of the video not sponsored by the way i feel like i should say that um and yeah